All right, here we go, part 12, and if we're lucky, then we will finish um, the entire back row before I've had to take care of going downstairs and eating dinner. So, the first up is um, Rune Soldier, also known as Rune Soldier Louis, I think. I, a silly series. I don't remember anything that happened whatsoever. It looks like it was a fun series, though. Yeah, don't know. Maybe this is yet another series I have to rewatch. Fantasy Unlimited. Uh, I think at one point I was collecting the individual DVDs and then I just got the box set. You know, maybe this series wouldn't have been so bad if they had been able to get their full um, 52 episode release done. Then uh, the pacing wouldn't have felt so, like such a cheapness. I guess. Otherwise, eh, I guess the name Final Fantasy doesn't necessarily mean that it's the greatest thing ever. D and Angel. I think a lot of people like this one a lot. I have to say, I think I approve of the way it ended. I'm not guaranteeing that the orders are necessarily correct here. Because I guess, to be honest, I wasn't the last person to look at these now that I think about it. It's one of the few DV animes where a friend watched my DVDs without me. I mean, what can I say? I like to rewatch it with them sometimes, especially since it usually means the DVD never leaves the room. It's nice when the DVDs don't leave the room. Ah, the Twelve Kingdoms. I think another one that they never completed. I think it was based upon seven books. And they only covered four. But at least books one and three were pretty good. Two and four? Nice to have a little bit of those in there. Anyways, these are collections one and two, which I think cover books one through four of the original story they were based on. I could be mistaken, though. I guess you'll correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Blue Seed. You know, I don't remember the exact details of what happened. I think I enjoyed it. Maybe not as much as I thought people would want me to, but that could be because... This is a kind of an old story that might have set some new standards and see if you watch a new anime that uses the standards and when you watch the one that originated them sometimes you're like oh there's nothing unique about this blue seed beyond I don't know I think it was interesting I just can't remember I just don't remember being so wild that I had to tie up my friends to get them to watch it. Actually, that would make it bad, wouldn't it? Oh well. Magical Shopping Arcade of Inobashi. This was a real funny, wild, crazy anime. I enjoyed this one. It looks pretty nonsensical, even looking at it. I mean, if you realize, oh wait, those are the same characters on every single one of those. But it looks like they're doing wildly different things. Oh, well, if you've never seen it, I guess it'd be hard to understand. Kino's Journey. A reverse trap, I think is what they call him. When something looks like a guy and it's a girl. Or at least, when I look at it, I can't help but think that better be a girl because I don't want you showing off the butt of a guy. 
It's the last thing I need. This anime was actually really nice. Basically, I, th I thought it was an interesting representation of some moral dilemmas. Or at least had some of those. Otherwise, Kino herself was a pretty interesting character. Marmalade Boy, Volume 1. Is that right? Is that what it was? Yeah. Scrapbook, Volume 1. About the only unfortunate thing about this series is that that's Volume 1. That's Volume 2. That's Volume 3. And stupid me, I haven't gotten Volume 4 yet, and the longer I wait, the harder it probably is going to be to get it. Yeah. Ooh. Here's a nice one. Crest of the Stars. I mean, it's not nice in that you look at it and you think, oh, it's about spaceships and stuff, and so should have um, really impressive ship battles. I don't know. Something about it felt like the story was well told or something. That could be some real rose-colored remembering there. I wouldn't blame you if you disagreed with me, because it's been a while since I watched it. I can barely remember what happens. But of course, it doesn't stop there. We have Banner of the Stars. And Banner of the Stars too. You know, sequels to Crest of the Stars. I wonder if Banner of the Stars 3 was ever released on DVD. It was just like one episode, real short. Oh well. Outlaw Star. Now there is a great anime. Not rated as highly as I would think it should be. But you know, here you go. DVD 1, DVD 2, DVD 3. And I remember, I bought this one when I was visiting an online friend that I met for the first time. Because he was basically the friend of a friend. We went to Fry's, I bought this. Oh man, it was such a great purchase. Now, the reason, I've had that one for a while. The reason it's not with the other old DVDs is because of Angel Links. You know, this takes place in the Outlaw Star universe as well. Not really a sequel, but I wanted them together, and it was hard to move Angel Links into the old DVD pile. So, Outlaw Star came out. Cromarty High School. It seemed pretty random. I never finished watching it, though. I only got a couple episodes in, and I was like... I got some stuff that I would enjoy more than this. I don't know if other people would agree with me about that, but... Well... Oh, well. It's unfortunate. Why is that guy only wearing... Huh. <sighs> yeah. Oh. <sighs> this pile looks pretty high. I bet there's only one more left. Yes, there is. I can't make much of a comment about this one, though. It's called Gaku in Heaven. I, uh... I'm not even sure what it's about. Looks like a... Okay. So you've got a couple of guys. Alright. A couple of guys. Uh-huh. Are those two guys? That looks like a girl, but that might be a guy. Okay, a couple of guys. So, maybe I never watch this because it's... More yaoi-ish, and what can I say? I don't particularly watch yaoi. It's not that I avoid it. It's that it's, there's usually something better that I prefer to watch. Anyways, that's the back. I think we're doing good so far. Next up, got to reconstruct the five piles in the front.